They had the Alpha Cat Zingano on the MMA Hour. It was just a phone call, but it still was very good. Luke Thomas is a very strange interviewer. That guy, it's almost like I like him because he's so socially awkward. Like, I like to listen to him because he just throws the fighters off so much. And he threw Kat Zingano off many times in this interview. But she weathered the storm, and we got to get a juicy little nugget out of her. So Kat Zingano, we know that she's about to fight at UFC 232. She's going to be fighting Megan Anderson, right? That's big news in and of itself. She's coming up from Bantamweight, and she's going to be fighting, you know, probably the biggest featherweight out there, I think. I mean, obviously in the UFC, since there's only two, she'll be fighting the biggest, but she said that she, if she wins, that she wants to fight for the belt up there. So we've got to unbox this one, right? We've got to unpack it. We have to unpack it. She said that she took this fight. She was talking to the UFC. She asked the UFC, can she be the backup for that fight? Because we all know, uh, you know, the GOAT was, the GOAT cyborg was out there saying, look, Amanda Nunes may not even show up for the fight. And you guys need to guarantee something for me. Go ahead and make something guaranteed. So, you know, Kat Zingano said, hey, make me the guarantee. I'll fight her. And and I'll, the thing about Kat Zingano is she's been saying that she would fight Chris Cyborg. It's just that she had been, she had lost so many fights that nobody cared really, you know, because it's like, you need to kind of be winning a little bit. So, you know, she said, let me be the backup. Let me be the backup. Easy. They said, sure. You're the backup. Then they called her back. They said, actually, you know what? We got Megan Anderson. She said, no doubt. We're going for it. We're fighting Megan Anderson, UFC 232, and I'm still the backup. Now, it's questionable. If Amanda Nunes pulls out of the fight, Luke Thomas was like, do you think they're actually going to tap you or do you think they're going to tap Megan Anderson? This is what I'm going to say, and I'm not going to drag Megan Anderson through the mud anymore. You know, she she ducked the fight with Cyborg. She did. She ducked that fight. She used Cyborg to get into the UFC, but I'm going to go ahead and give her a clean slate moving forward. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe the slate clean because it was pretty tough for me to kind of, I lost a big fight, man. I lost probably one of the fights that I've been anticipating ever since I saw this guy lose his belt. I've been waiting to see this fight and it just got pulled because Luke Rockhold had to pull out due to injury. So anybody who wants to fight and who is going to fight and who gets in there and fights, I'm just going to support them just because. Just because they're going in there and they're doing it. So right now, I'm supporting her. If she pulls out, you know, we'll start from there. But right now, clean slate. I'll definitely say that. So, so you know, yes, Megan Anderson did duck Cyborg. But if Amanda Nunes pulls out of the fight, I don't... Do you think that they would tap Kat Zingano? Or do you think that they would tap Megan Anderson... Either person actually is a good fight. Either one is a good fight. This is the only thing I'm going to say. I think that if Amanda Nunes pulls out, it doesn't matter who they tap. It doesn't matter who they tap, who they want to fight. The person who will be fighting and who will be stepping up will be Kat Zingano. That's the only thing I'll say is because Kat Zingano is a proven game-ass opponent. Proven. She's already proved it to me. Right. Megan Anderson just has not has not proven that to me. I'm supporting her. I am. It's just that she hasn't proven that to me. I can't see her stepping up short notice to fight Chris Cyborg. I just can't see it. I cannot see it at all. So that's all I'll say is that was a dumb question from Luke uh, from Luke Thomas, because it doesn't matter either way. It's going to be Kat Zingano who fights, but it is what it is. So, yeah, so Kat basically was saying, yes, she wants to fight. She will be stepping up. If Amanda Nunes doesn't show up, she's stepping up to fight Chris Cyborg. But she said, she kept mentioning the T word, the T word, the T word. She kept saying tournament. I bet the UFC hates that because right now Bellator is doing tournaments. PFL is doing tournaments. UFC wants to be as far away from tournaments as possible from a marketing perspective. But I digress. Anyways. You know, she kept saying, using the T word and saying tournament. So I'm wonder if this is what Dana White or this is what Mick Maynard was actually saying. Like, okay, the winner of this fight will fight Chris Cyborg next. Is that what they're saying? 
because she she seems pretty confident. Kat Zingano seemed incredibly confident about fighting Chris Cyborg next. Obviously, she has to get through Megan Anderson first. And so I will move into that portion of it because uh, me think people are sleeping on Kat Zingano. I hear people who have never, ever, ever, ever rooted on Megan Anderson to win a fight, never wanted her to win a fight, never thought she was going to win a fight. I hear them picking her to win this fight of all fights. Y'all are sleeping on my girl. That's the only thing I got to say. You guys are sleeping on the cat, man. But it's all good. She may just have to prove everybody wrong once again. She is coming off of that one win against Marion Ray. No. Now, before that, losing streak. Three fight losing streak. So I understand there's reason. There's reason to that madness of, of going against her. But I wouldn't do it, man. Her performances, when she's on, she's on. Doubt her at your own peril. You know, doubt Kat Zingano at your own peril. That's the only thing I will say. So what did Kat Zingano basically say about Megan Anderson? She said, look, she's got those beautiful long legs and they're easy to grab onto. That's all she said. And I knew exactly what she, she meant. She said it's about to be take down city. It's about to be take down central with this fight. And I hope to see it. I don't really like a whole lot of fights that are on the ground. It's not my favorite type of fight. But when it comes to Kat Singano, that's all I want to see. The only thing I want to see is takedowns because she has the best. She has some of the, not the best, but she has some of the most beautiful takedowns. I'll say that. But Megan definitely has a chance. That's a big girl. Megan Anderson is a very big girl. So we'll see. But. For the most part, I'll just say, look, Kat Singano really did sound like her head was in the game. She sounded focused. She sounded like she was ready to play again. She says she loves uh, MMA. She loves the UFC because she gets to go in inside the cage and be creative and she gets to play. And it sounded like she's ready to play again. We've got a nasty athlete in Kat Zingano. We've got a nasty fighter in Kat Zingano, man. You guys already know who I'm going for in this fight. I just had to recap the interview because I loved it so much. Anyways, guys, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts in the comment section.